Right, so if you recall last time, I was uh, viciously attacked by the coalition. And I'm likely about to get stomped on, but we'll we'll see how it goes. Um, England is the coalition leader, and we have no way of, you know, getting to England. So I'm just going to quickly try and take the forts and just sort of see what happens here. Oh god, they're landing. Oh god, they're landing. Right, this is important. I need to win every single battle against the English. Nice, stack wipe. That's very good. Uh, I, I have lost this four against Anjou. Um, that's less good, but it's fine. The Burgundies decided to fight that. They won that. Nice. England's coming in. I am playing on speed 5. A lot of people complain that I play on speed 5, but honestly, I don't know what you want me to do. Really? Are they going to take that fort back before I take this one? Right, Dijon 8, and they've taken Anjou. I'm probably going to sit here for the next three hours watching Anjou. Uh, oh, God, don't lose that Burgundy. Okay, nice. We got in there. All right, how are we doing now? We are still hideously losing this war. Oh. Jesus. I've just, I've just not been talking at all because I've been focusing. It's not exactly the most riveting of, uh, of commentary, it has to be said. I'm just keeping, like, Portugal, what I didn't expect, right? Let me give you a brief overview of the war. So, my allies are kind of losing, right? Um, Tunis, Tunis did some bits on Morocco, but that's not great. Uh, Burgundy had the capital siege down. I managed to grab uh, Savoy and Brittany, which has sort of slowed them down a little bit. But Portugal's just rinsed Castile. Like, they've taken Madrid. Well, sorry, they've taken Toledo. They're probably going to take, you know, my, my fort down here. Portugal just destroyed. And then England just have so many men. Like, the numbers uh, are in our favor currently. Because I keep on stack wiping them. But, my God. Oh, it's just so close each time. And I'm going to run out of manpower. Here we go. Oh, they are. We're not fighting there. We'll fight them here. This is going to hurt. But I think it's worth it. Okay. Four war score there. I have to fight these rebels now. Oh, excellent. That, that's really nice. Thanks, Savoy. Appreciate it. And let's go take out these smaller armies over here. And Castile is just continually just getting battered by England. Right, 25%. Oh, they'll actually give me uh, give me some stuff. Oh, bloody hell. There we go. Oh boy, that was a painful one, that. That was really, really bad. That was not at all what I wanted. Okay, but we're, we're, we're done now. We, we've beaten them. God, that wasn't even close to being satisfying. I really thought we were going to lose that one. I thought that Burgundy could probably take England, considering they took land from them. I thought that Castile could take Portugal. And I thought Tunis could probably take Morocco. Well, I was kind of less keen on that one. But what I wasn't expecting was um, everyone just to get smashed immediately. I mean, meanwhile, in the rest of the world, things are pretty pretty quiet, actually. I don't think anyone's really in any sort of wars. Bohemia is. But other than that, it's it's actually a really, really peaceful time in European history. <laughs> of course, as I say that, the Protestant Reformation happens. Oh, that is... The timing of that was amazing. And there goes the truce of the coalition. Oh, did the coalition just try and form? Okay, it's just France right now. Um, I'm going to do something real stupid. I'm going to do something real stupid. Here we go, lads. Restoration of the Union. Jesus Christ. Let's do it. I just didn't want France in the coalition as well against me. I think I'm pretty screwed. So I'm just going to go for it. I didn't have a Casas Belli beyond Humiliate, so I had to just quickly come up with one. And the only one that I have, obviously, is the uh, Union. And apparently my king died. And now I have a 3-2-1 on the throne. He's 16, which should give me ample time to uh, improve relations with France. With the personal union. And I've lost uh, the effects of excommunication, which is pretty, really, really good. Okay. So far, so good. I mean, that's France fully occupied, really. Uh, I don't care too much about the money, to be honest. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, they're immediately disloyal? Shocking. <laughs> I did say I don't think I can take on England and Portugal at the same time. But that was before I completed the quantity ideas. Um, I'm pretty confident now, I reckon. I think I think I can do okay. So I'm going to bring in Tunis. And we're going to cautiously declare war for uh, Algarve. And we're going to try and rush down the Portuguese before the English arrive. All right. The English are going to be coming down here. But the French will hopefully deal with them a little bit. We'll see. The French aren't 
too fond of me, but they don't hate me as much as before. That's gone pretty well. Please, Tunisia, get rid of them. Okay, right. We fully occupied Portugal. And we got positive opinion with the French. That's nice. So now my, uh, my ruler can die without, you know, everything going to hell. Oh, England's on low. Why? I'm just sort of surrounding Castile. They think I'm their friend, but I'm just waiting for the last possible moment to betray them. Right, I could get into another alliances with Portugal, which doesn't really matter anymore after this. Or I could take 400 ducats from them. Or I could war reparations them. Probably what I'm going to do. And that just leaves you, Portugal, which means uh, I'll have your stuff now. There we go. <laughs> and I claim more of Iberia. Excellent. Right, so Castile doesn't actually have any other allies. So I think it might be high time for this to happen. And uh, we're sort of going it alone now. Well, we've got our little buddy France. We've made our own friends, so it's okay. So this is something that happens um, most games, right? Muscovy kills Novgorod, but they go way over their governing capacity, and so they release Novgorod as a vassal. The issue is Novgorod is a historical rival of Muscovy, so Muscovy will never get this land back. It's kind of an oversight. I feel like they probably should fix that. Ladies and gentlemen, something's happened that I've never, ever had before in this game. Genuinely never. In 2,300 hours, I've never had a six siege general, and it's finally happened. That's so good, and oh, 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 the Ottomans have, okay, Hungarian crusade against the Ottomans. Good luck, it feels like you're not doing so well already. Now, a slight issue in the fact that I have to fight Austria at the same time, but I'm thinking that might not be such a bad issue if I were to fight Burgundy after that. Like, at the same time, once I have them occupied. So, I'm going to declare war against the world, basically. Uh, and we'll do it for, for I don't know, Badajoz. That claims on everything. Okay, here we go. All right, let's rush them down, boys. Six siege. It starts on 28%. It starts on 28%. All right, France is here as well. That's good. I'm just going to sort of focus on Castile as much as possible. Okay, they're building a lot of cannons. We've been trading sort of going back and forth with the forts and, and everything. My siege guy died, so that's that hasn't helped me at all. We stack wipe, it is. And now we fight here. Oh, come on, boys. Nice win. Oh, we can get agricultural cultivation. That's that's good, because, you know, apparently we're going the death meta this game. <laughs> there we go, that's the stack wipe, that's good. Please hold, please hold, 7%. You got this. Oh, this is that right? This is what I needed. Jesus Christ, Hungary took a massive chunk of the Ottomans. I really don't want to fight them. Hmm. Not good. Right, let's hope there's no Austrian army sneaking behind this one. Oh, God. That's painful. That's really painful. Okay, we lost that, did we? How? That's mm, manpower. Bad. Everything's bad. All right, we're getting a peace. We just lost the war, which obviously means that we have to declare war on Burgundy. Oh, of course, you can't declare war on the member of the Empire for war with the Emperor. That, that does make sense. That that does make sense. I should have gone out of this war a long time ago. That's a coalition. Great Britain formed. Well, that's fine. There we go. Navarra is now slowly taking over Iberia, and we've got 90% overextension and no admin power. This is going to be fine. <laughs> As I defeated them, um, they, they formed Spain. They kicked their asses so hard, they switched nations. All right, there's that thing done with Portugal. We could declare war on them. Great Britain would come in and Spain would come in. The main reason isn't that I want to take Portuguese land, though I probably will, like because ultimately this coalition is massive either way, is to not steal out the war for five years so I can take their land quicker. All right, can I get there before the siege was won? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. No. Nope. I mean, I can catch them, I think. Oh, I can catch some of them. I'm going to assault this one. Now, a little trick on assaulting. Make sure you drop the speed down, and you hold down shift, and you consolidate constantly. Otherwise, you will take so many unnecessary losses, it's ridiculous. What are ideas you took? You took exploration, expansion, and defensive. So I should theoretically match up quite nicely against you. And uh, I do. Well, that's because I had more men. <laughs> Their men were a lot better. Oh, God. They're going to they're gonna stream down here in a second. Oh, that was that could have been really bad if I lost that battle. Okay, Spain, you are still on high. I have no idea how. <laughs> I won that one barely. Jesus. Now, will you peace out? White peace. You minus five. 
How has it gotten worse after I beat your army? The French have done actually really, really well. They were fighting maybe, what, three to one? They did better than I did. Nice little win there. And should be a stack wipe. Excellent. All right, we get France back his lands. He's done very well here indeed. Great Britain would come out now if we wanted them to. Do we want them to? I don't want money from them. Uh, I suppose we're not we're not going to be able to fight them at all, so we might as well just piece them out. Austria now wants to ally me, you say. That sounds pretty good to me. That sounds very good to me. I feel like I earn his respect. You ever beat up a guy so hard that he like, you know, likes you? And, like, well, I haven't done that, obviously, but, you know, in films. <laughs> be surprised if anyone watching this has done that. Not a real thing, right? That doesn't exist. Barely, I suppose. Maybe in prison. I don't know. I've never been to prison, so I wouldn't know. I don't even know. I've been recording this one for a while, lads. I'm still starting to dip out of consciousness. Right, I'll uh, I'll do that one. And the Portuguese are no longer in Iberia. Now, would you care if I declared war on Burgundy? You still would. But you wouldn't call in your allies. But I still don't fancy fighting, you know, twice my size. Yeah, hey, truce is up with uh, with Spain, which means we're, we're fighting Brazil. <laughs> Hey Venice, big fan of your work. Could you not be here right now? That's great. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. And just, just these guys as well? Oh, so generous. The Castilians refuse to have, like, a decent unified army. They instead just prefer to run around with these stupid little one-case cannon stacks. One thing I love is it's 1550, right? Guns have sort of become a mainstay. The rest of us, you know, we're using guns. And then France out here is still using knights, which I should probably check their mil tech. It's 11. Yeah, it's not that bad. It's a really confused as to why they're just, you know... Doing that one. We've got some rats leaving the sinking ship. Um, I'm also going to become Defender of the Fade. Because I need a little bit of extra bonus. Alright, what are our stats like? Not horrible, not great. Alright, there's Treviso. All done. That should surely knock you out of the wall. Surely. Right, I'm pretty sure that Spain pretty much fully occupied. I think. That's fine. I don't care about annoying Spain and Brazil. My, my you know, only enemies right now. I suppose... Western Europe is also an enemy of mine, but <laughs> that's, that's neither here nor there, and, um... Ooh. Ooh. Okay. And now I'm fighting the Muscovites. Now, this is not something I was expecting. Portugal is a junior partner of Brazil. Uh, and but we're not in the war, so it must have happened real quick. Brazil is now a significant colonial power, because they have... Arabia and Portuguese Mexico under that. That's... This is gonna get weird if I don't put an end to this. Okay, so apparently I managed to pause my recording. Um, like an idiot. I managed to get Brazil out of the wall because apparently they own Ceuta. So, siege that down, really. I don't know why they own it, but they do. It's just real great having a bloody 0-1-2. It's real, real fun. Oh, ship durability plus 10%. That's nice. Good job, you idiot. Oh. Well, then. This is another coalition war. Alright, here we go. Fight it again. I mean, we're mostly concentrated. Let's have a look. Who are we fighting? Yeah, it's just we're mostly concentrated around this area. I don't know why they've done this. Um, we have more troops. It's a little, a little bit silly. All right, important thing is to keep all of our troops very close together. Meanwhile, I'm making short work of these navies. I guess we need to get some decent advisors. There we go. Discipline. Coalition War actually again. What's the, sort of the theme of this goddamn campaign? remarkably well. Right, my truce with Spain is over, um, meaning that I'm going to attack them immediately. They don't join the coalition. <laughs> then I have to fight them all independently. I like being ahead of time on all my ideas and everything because it means I can just sort of just blow up forts as necessary. Oh, this is going to be a massive win, this. I might even take land from them. Right, 85%. I think that, that's pretty done. Turn a lot of cores to France. Oh, a coalition may form against me. Hmm. Right, sure, that stuff. Um, give me your money. Yeah, it sounds good to me. It does mean we can get Union with France, which gives us 100 in each category, which seems a bit redundant. All right. Can I go back to carpet sieging now? Well, war in Europe rages on. Oh. It's got quite a one-sided affair, that, isn't it? Uh, kind of busy. Fine. Uh, I don't want to be in this war. All right, so we've taken uh, a bunch of the islands that we require. Because uh, now I'm, I'm looking to dominate Ithpania. Um So I just need the rest of this stuff. And I could stretch this into, you know, a fourth episode and, and, and this kind of stuff. But really, 
you know, realistically thinking here. Um, Europe's at war, right? Part of Europe at war, right? So would anyone really care if I, uh, you know, go for a quick round two? All right, there's, uh, there's that war. But, um, you know, you know what, lads? Oh, okay, before the coalition, please. Before it fires. Yeah, I understand. I understand everyone's in a coalition against me. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Can you spot the difference between this war and the last one? That's right. I have more of pain. And I declare the second one. And and there's a massive coalition. <laughs> there are people really unhappy. Um, That's fine. They're in, a, they're in the war of, you know, whatever it is now. now. Okay, that's a lot of overextension. That's a lot of rebels. We gotta go. We gotta go, please. Okay, that's a coalition. That's a coalition war. That's fine. All right, I won something over there. More rebels. That's okay. We can deal with rebels. Rebels are fine. I want to know how it's, I've only got 27% against you. I was to take Asturias. Why have I not taken Asturias? Oh, right. That's the capital. There we go. 45%. I only need these little bits. Spanish military strength. What military strength? You have two. How's France looking? Honestly, this coalition war doesn't even seem too bad. Well, great. It doesn't seem too bad. I'll probably win it. Wanted to. Right now, my focus is elsewhere. Fine. Overextension is just a number, and that number doesn't exist if we close our eyes and pretend it doesn't. Okay, that's another coalition. That's fine. That's fine. Everything's okay. We don't need friends where we're going. I just don't know where the Spanish are. <laughs> Down here in Guinea? Right, lads, apparently we're going to Guinea. I know, I'm, I'm as confused as you, but we go to Guinea. I know you don't know what a Guinea is, but just, just bear with me. And this eight, come on. Maybe the blockades alone will do it. Third coalition war, it's fine. Everything's fine. No one panic. Minor inconveniences everywhere. Right, there we go. Let's win a couple more battles. Fight the Spanish here. I'm just gonna look at my land real quick. Mm, that was a mistake. Like, I like how my land is just basically untouched. It's just France and Hungary got, they got, uh, got, got a little bit destroyed. Whilst I'm over here fighting in Africa. 80%, come on, you've got to, you've got to be so upset. Minus one. Just keep moving forwards. Okay, right, 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 here we go. Okay, so that should be everything in Iberia, right? Dominate Espana. <laughs> Conquest of Hispania! We did it! We absolutely did it! Ignore, you know, the copious amounts of war and everything else. What would you guys actually want from me? Out of curiosity, you don't, you don't want anything. Okay, so, screw you. Um, we are at war with, you know, most of Europe. But that's fine, because we dominated Hispania. We, as Navarra, have, uh, have taken out all of Spain. So, oh, thank you very much for watching uh, this series, ladies and gentlemen. Um, please put anyone else that you want me to play as in the comments down below. People like it when I play as One Province Minor, so I thought Navarra could be fun. And you guys seem to enjoy it. People were, th were talking about uh, Trebizond, actually, next, uh, or Theodoro. And I'm intrigued by both those nations. So that could be a lot of fun. So, maybe I'll put a poll out. But uh, either way, make sure to have your opinions known in the comments down below. Please make sure to like the video. Uh, it really does help us out and be sure to subscribe to find more videos like this. Goodbye.